Hi, welcome to a brand new Coffee Tech Break session. Your place to be for the latest and greatest on the Poly products. Now, if you want to go really large, extra large room, your basis is also the G7500. Uh, so you can use multiple TCH. You can use, if it's a fixed table, C60s uh, on the table. You can play with directors, not only one, but you can use uh, multiple directors uh, in the room. If your tables and uh, your setup is moving a lot, you can even use the uh, ceiling mics and uh, extend that even up to eight with sound structure. Uh, so there's a lot of possibilities here. And same list as you have with the Studio X family. Uh, so you got a lot of features to, uh, uh, to use in those uh, rooms. USB mode, uh, which I talked about earlier, is also available in the G7500. So just use your USB cable and extend speaker mic uh, and uh, camera functionality to your laptop where you could run any video app. Now, let me take you to some of those requirements. Uh, so I showed you a bit earlier what you need. Uh, so what you need to get those join buttons there uh, to get that all working. Now, the basis is real connect for Teams. So that is really required because if you use it in H3 SIP mode, you need to connect a uh, fire real connected to make that working. Now, what you also can do if you want to get started quickly is use favorites. And uh, so you can create a favorite to your real connect tenant uh, and start using it. That is in the basis, I think, important to see if you're able to go out uh, over the internet using SIP or H3 and see if that is working. Of course, you can add functionality uh, with OTD Cloud. That's the one touch down functionality, uh, which comes free with a Real Connect license. Uh, so I will show you that a bit later. Uh, that is also very powerful where you just have to press a button and join a meeting. But in the basis with your favorites, uh, you should already be able to, uh, to get started quickly. Now, how does this look like? Eh? Because that is, I think, very important. You need to have Real Connect enabled. Your license needs to be enabled. Eh? Then you can use all your devices and eh? connect here through Real Connect and jump into those Teams meetings, audio, video, and content. I think it's really, really uh, powerful. Now, if you want to test that, there is 24 hours a day, there is a test number available, which you see right here. So make sure if you do anything or plan to do anything with Real Connect, make sure you can dial this number. And you might need a firewall change or something to be able to dial out H223 and SIP. Again, OTD, and you can add that as you get those join buttons, eh, which we'll show you a bit uh, later. But that makes life easy. You just schedule it uh, through the uh, Outlook or the Teams client. A user walks in the room and they can join a meeting. Now, if we look at one touchdown, eh, so this gives you the experience where you get your calendaring eh, and we just press a button as you showed you in uh, this case. Eh. One touchdown is available as a free cloud service uh, and you can enable different services in there, different video provider services. Uh, so it's very powerful and there's new ones added uh, anytime. So because of this cloud service, uh, we can keep it uh, up to date. Now what's happening here is the one touchdown service We'll make sure that the meeting, uh, if you scheduled a Real Connect uh, meeting, uh, so a Teams invite, if you schedule the Zoom meeting, that the join button uh, will show up on an endpoint. Now, how does the workflow look like? Uh, so here you see, you've got your Studio X family or your G7500. Uh, on the other side, you got your Teams client or you got your Outlook client. Uh, you schedule that meeting. Again, make sure you got that real connect information in here, as you see here, this is key. Now, this will end up in the mailbox. Eh? So you got probably a resource mailbox, eh? but you can also test this with the user mailbox, but usually in production, eh? a resource mailbox makes more sense because that is able to respond 
automatically yeah, to your uh, invites. Now, the devices will pull that mailbox, but that will go through the one touch down. And so as it comes back on the endpoint, it will show you that join button. The next step you can take, if you got this all going, eh, and I would say test this first locally eh, through using the web UI of the uh, G7500 eh, or the Studio X family by pointing to that uh, eh, to that one touch dial. Uh, but the next step is you can manage them sentry through Lens. And I will also show you that in the next Coffee Tech Break session, how you can push eh, that configuration to those devices. Lens is really powerful. It's a free platform and for now, and you're able to add all kinds of insights in the future. So how much is the room being used? Uh, how many people went to a meeting uh, which was scheduled or didn't attend? Uh, so there's a lot of insights which can be given. And it might be uh, that there are some premium uh, options in the future uh, which, you can, which you can add as a sort of subscription. So it will show you your inventory. Uh, it will show you all the devices you have, if they're online, if they're offline. It can give you actions. Uh, so which systems are offline where you need to take action. Very powerful platform. Uh, and it started now with video endpoints. Trio is in there. Uh, and, and I will probably uh, show you that also in one of the next Coffee Tech Break sessions uh, with, uh, with Trio, how to add that to, uh, to Lens. And we soon expect also the headsets in there. So I would say really get started with Lens as soon as possible. And so you can get yeah, some experience with that, uh, with that platform.